Have you ever heard of a real-life Dr. Frankenstein? Today, we're diving into the strange and unsettling story of Vladimir Demikhov, a Soviet scientist whose work will make your skin crawl. He was a true pioneer in transplantology, the science of moving organs from one body to another. But his methods, they were straight out of a horror movie. In the 1950s, long before the first human heart transplant, Demikhov was pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. He successfully transplanted hearts, lungs, and even entire heart-lung complexes in dogs. Many of these animals lived for weeks, even months after surgery. This was groundbreaking stuff, paving the way for the life-saving procedures we have today. But Demikhov didn't stop there. He wanted to push things even further. This is where the story takes a dark turn. His most infamous experiments involved creating something truly bizarre. Two-headed dogs. You heard that right. He would take the head, shoulders and front paws of a small puppy and surgically graft them onto the neck of a large, healthy adult German Shepherd. The procedure was incredibly complex. Demikhov had to painstakingly connect all the blood vessels including the carotid arteries and jugular veins, to ensure the puppy's head received a steady supply of blood from the host dog's heart. The result was a grotesque but functioning creature. Both heads were fully conscious. The host dog's head could eat, drink, and walk around as normal. The grafted puppy head was also aware. It would watch its surroundings, lick its nose, and even try to lap up milk from a bowl though the milk would just trickle down its unconnected esophagus. The two heads sometimes acted independently, and occasionally the puppy head would even playfully bite the ear of its larger host. Demikhov created about 20 of these two-headed dogs. Sadly, none of them lived for very long. The longest surviving specimen lasted for 29 days before its body ultimately rejected the foreign tissue, leading to its death. The experiments were widely publicized by Soviet propaganda as a symbol of the nation's scientific superiority. However, they were condemned by many around the world as cruel and unethical. So, what was the point of all this? Demikhov argued that if he could successfully transplant a head, it proved that any organ could be transplanted. He saw it as the ultimate test of his surgical skills and a crucial step toward understanding organ rejection. 